What's up, Archie Beats here. Welcome to my home studio. So uh, yeah, we are here again. Universal Audio, I just received the email. As I told you guys, we're gonna be on stuff really <laughs> fast, especially things that I feel that are important um, that could contribute to my workflow and also what could contribute to you guys' workflow. I will share it with you guys as much as possible, but I actually, I jumped on it so fast, y'all. You have no idea. I actually just received an email from Universal Audio. Also, what you guys hearing now is the Universal audio sd1 and also the universal audio solo video review is coming soon and we're going to compare it to all of my apollos the apollo x4 the apollo twin x the apollo 8 quad we're going to compare the solo to all of those audio interfaces so be on the lookout for that video very soon the real news is we just got a new update from universal audio and it is crazy you guys know how difficult and logic pro this is all that i have been asking for from waves every <laughs> plugin developer out there is to how can you guys be more organized in logic so logic pro x that is how when i click reverb i can find a wave reverb but you always have to go down to audio units so let's take a look at the screen here um but first let's take a look at the email but emails are private so we're just going to read it to you guys universal audio sent the email categorizing uad plugins in logic pro and it has this picture where it says reverb and UAD reverbs are in the reverb, which is crazy. Get the sounds you want even faster. This is why I like plugins to be organized in my DAW so I can get to them faster. When they're categorized and organized, you can get to them fast. You don't have to go through the list and the audio units. So let's show you how the plugins used to look categorized. And then like I just downloaded this. We're going to see if it really works. Okay, so take a look at the screen here. Just basic logic stuff right here. So we have a screen here. So normally when you go to audio effects here, you go down to audio units and this is where everything is. This is my brand new M2 MacBook Pro. So I haven't installed a lot of things. So normally when you see this, it's have your waves, all your crazy plugin, incompatible plugins, whatever, um, in here like this. So you have to go through the list of all the plugins from each developer. At least the developers are organized. Now it gets crazy. Let's go to EQs. I haven't installed a lot. Would you look at that? AMS need all the EQ logic recognize it as a local plugin within logic as a friend. This is brand new. You guys know you don't see this. It no matter if you have waves, no matter if you have slate, it's never in where it's supposed to be. If it's an EQ, it's in audio units listed under the manufacturer name. But let's just click it. Now, granted, I don't have anything installed yet. My Apollo right now we have the Universal Audio Volt 2, which is incompatible with the actual plugin. You have to have the Spark. I don't have Spark in, in installed yet because I'm just installing things on my computer. I'm doing doll tests, everything for you guys. So my Universal Audio Volt 2 is doesn't run standard Universal Audio plugins that require DSP. And I have all of the DSP plugins and I have all of the Spark plugins, but that's not installed yet. But it's disabled because of that. So if you guys say, oh, it's not working. No, it's not because of that. It's because I don't have the uh, required universal hardware, if that makes sense. But you can get some of these EQs with Spark and Reverb and all types of plugins. But you guys can see it's literally here and it's organized. Reverb is it just keeps going, going, going. Filter, UAD, move. Like, I can't make this up. There it is right there. If we have the necessary hardware, it won't say disabled. <laughs> we have the necessary hardware. So this is big news. Universal Audio, Logic Pro, Apple. Thank you guys. This is awesome. My workflow is going to be even much smoother now <laughs> when it comes to plugging and categorizing. So this is amazing. You guys be sure to download. I'm going to try to get the link to you guys if you haven't received the email. So check the description below so you can get to that download page. But this is awesome. If you are a Logic Pro user, this is very important. This is really big. So y'all run over there and check it out now. I'm actually going to talk to the Universal Audio team this week to see what else information I can get out of them. We will see. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you won't miss any updates. Remember, Mondays are Music Production Monday updates. So we have a lot of just a bunch of news coming in Monday over the weekend. And we're going to give it to you guys every Monday. So be here for that. This is awesome. I'm excited about it. I'm about to install all the stuff, um, plug in my solo or my twin X or the X4, whichever one to make local so I can test this out on my MacBook. See you guys next time.